I really do believe this could be one of the most important videos you have ever watched. That's bold, right? Tad bit better TV. Hey, welcome, welcome. So, this is not important because of me. Trust me, I'm not that wonderful. But this is important because I believe if you are watching this video, I am about to get to share something with you that will absolutely change your life. So, I am a Christian, which means I am a follower, or I try to be a follower, of Jesus Christ. Which, by the way, Christ is not his last name. It just means Messiah. LOL, I grew up in church and didn't even know that until a few years ago. So, you might be asking me, Trenton, what does it mean to be saved? Do I need to be saved? Okay, okay. One question at a time, please. So, I'm not going to answer that because, honestly, I don't know why my opinion would matter on such a big topic. I would want you to ask God, do you need to be saved? I will give you, however, the tools to know what this even means. So, basically, there is good and there is evil. God is the captain of the good team, and Satan is the captain of the bad team. The thing is, we are lost and corrupted by the bad team. We are mean, we are hurtful, we are deceitful, and this is just my experience. Not saying that people who don't know God are bad. I'm just saying that I really don't know how people live life without him. We are lost until we accept Jesus' love. He's God's kid, and he died on a cross to trade his life for ours. Then Satan is like, I, you can have your people, and that makes us saved. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that's it. It sounds something like this. And this is you talking to God. God, I might not even know you, but I do believe that you created me, and you know what's best for my life. You love me, and you sent your only son to die in my place. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, and I welcome him to live in my heart and guide me through my life. I love you, Jesus. Amen. And I know this is probably pretty steep for some people. Like, it is a big step. And, of course, I still love you if you don't want to join me in following Jesus. But if you feel like you may be called to do so, I'm going to link to some resources in the description for you to follow up on this stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I would love to hear. Tad bit better TV.